YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabby. I am a Lululemon educator, and today's video is going to be all about the belt bags at Lululemon. Now, these have picked up in popularity hugely in the last like year or so, and I feel like we can't even keep these in stores, but I did a video on this, I think, last year, so I'm going to link that up in the cards for you if you want to take a look at that, but I wanted to do an updated version of what's in my belt bag slash collection and talk about the new options of belt bags at Lululemon that you could get right now. So if you want to know all about the Lululemon belt bags, then just keep on watching. Before we jump into the video, I just want to disclaim, I am a Lululemon educator. I do get a discount on the belt bags that I buy, of course, but this video is not sponsored. I do purchase all of these things with my own money. I will have everything linked down below in case you are interested in shopping any of these options that I mentioned today. So be sure to check out the description and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so if you watched my video last year, you know that this is the belt bag that I had. This is my OG belt bag in Spice Chai. Sadly, they don't have this color anymore on the website, but I feel like this one is maybe the most complimented belt bag color that I own, but she is still in really good shape for, you know, using it for almost a year straight. However, since becoming a Lululemon educator, I have, of course, added to my belt bag collection. So I picked up this one. This is the fleece eye ivory belt bag. It has a little bit of a different like metal clasp detail to it. Same with the logo. It's a little bit shinier, kind of like a gold color. And then of course it's like Sherpa on the outside. Miraculously, it has stayed clean throughout the winter, which I am quite impressed with myself by. It looks exactly the same on the inside as the other belt bag. I do find this one a little bit heavier just because of the metal clasp, where the original belt bag is like more of a plastic kind of clasp. But either way, that's the second belt bag that I have in my collection. The next one I picked up is the one I'm currently using because it's perfect for spring and summer. It is the raspberry cream belt bag. And again, this is the like original version of it. So it looks the same on the inside. I'll dive into this a little bit later on what's actually in here. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I have picked up also a belt bag in seal gray. I love that this is more of a neutral color that I can wear all year round. It's gonna go with all of the outfits because as you know, my other belt bags are both in that pink tone shade. So sometimes when I'm wearing pink, it just doesn't quite go. I'm very glad to have more of a neutral belt bag. And finally, I have the belt bag that the Lululemon educators wear at the store. And normally we don't get to keep these. However, because Lululemon has updated their belt bags to be more of an extended strap and are moving towards that belt bag design, I was lucky enough to be able to take one of these home for myself to wear and personally, I'm really thankful because the new extended version of the belt bag personally doesn't really work for me. So this is like the original belt bag that I can still wear and it's something Lululemon doesn't sell. So I feel like now it's also like a little bit of a collector's piece. Very excited that I have this in my belt bag collection and I love to rotate all of these belt bags. Obviously I don't use them all at once, but I'm really getting better at like rotating my belt bags to kind of go with my outfits and stuff. And then I'll always have one in my bag for work so that I can just change that out and I don't have all of my like personal belongings in there because that's just really a hassle. Okay, since I mentioned that Lululemon has made a new extended strap version, let's jump into that and chat about it a little bit. So Lululemon has made the effort to be more inclusive and they have extended the everywhere belt bag strap by two extra inches. There was a few design changes as well to the bag and personally I don't have it with me but I will insert some clips and stuff as well so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. So they do have like a new Lululemon logo on the side of the bag and they took out the metal Lululemon logo on the inside of the bag and have made that plastic. Everything else, the zipper, like the pockets, all are the same on there. However, they did update the belt strap part of it. So this little fastener here that does up the belt at this point has changed to like two pieces of like cloth basically to hold down that strap when it is like extended or not. Personally for me, the two extra inches didn't really work for me design wise. I normally like to wear my belt bag around my waist when I am on shift because I have really bad like lats and stuff. It really hurts to wear that belt bag across 
crossbody for a long period of time for me. So I always opt to wear it around my waist. Now that being said, when I kind of cinch up the belt bag to fit around my waist, I am more on the petite side. So this is just my personal preference. I just want to put that out there that this is like my personal opinion. It's okay if you know the new belt bag works better for you. That's great. That's what it's intended for. I know it's not really intended for me. I'm just gonna leave it there. But the two extra inches does leave a tail on the end and I can't do them up because the cloth straps obviously only go to the end of the bag and that's as much as I can do that strap up. So it kind of interferes with the zipper portion too as it kind of hangs there and it makes it a little bit more difficult to get into the bag for me personally and design wise it doesn't look as clean and as nice because I do have that extra little bit of fabric on the end. However, it's not the end of the world. When I wear it crossbody, it looks completely fine. That's just my personal preference on why I might opt for the original belt bag over the extended strap. I really wish Lululemon kept both options, but I think they are moving towards just the new extended strap option, which will just become the everywhere belt bag at this point. However, I feel like two inches maybe wasn't enough extension to include everyone in this design. So I feel like Lululemon maybe still has some work to do when it comes to the design of the bag to, you know, still include a full range of sizes. And I know that's really hard to do and you can't please everyone. I totally understand. So I really wish Lululemon made definitely like more sizes of the belt bag. If they had like a small medium or extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, extra large, where it has like that extended strap and like extra fabric each time. So like maybe someone more on the petite side like me could still opt for the extra small, small and it have like this kind of design. It looks really nice. The medium large could be like the new extended belt bag now where it might work better for some people where that belt bag sits for them. And then of course the like larger, maybe an even more extended strap option for those who still can't make the extended belt bag work for them. I think that would be fantastic. I have no idea what that would look like design wise and that's just my personal input into it. But that is kind of the tidbit on the new extended version. Personally, I haven't picked one up yet. I am holding on to dear life for these ones, which is why I picked up the seal gray one as well. And if I do see any like original belt bags, come back into store or something like that, I probably will pick them up because this so far is my favorite design of the belt bag. However, eventually I might have to suck it up and get an extended belt bag strap type. So stay tuned for that and more to come, I guess. But Lululemon also has a mini version of the belt bag as well. So this one is 0.7 liters where the original belt bag is one liter. So you're losing a tiny, tiny bit of space. I did notice that the mini belt bag also has a thinner strap as well. Personally, I didn't try it on around my waist, but I did try it cross body and it looked really cute. However, I do feel like the 0.3 liters does make a difference. Inside, it doesn't have the two front pouches. It only has like the one mesh pouch in it, which is okay. Obviously, you would probably be carrying less in that belt bag. However, I feel like you just can't keep it as organized as the original belt bag. Plus the back pocket on them, like the pouch here, instead of it being a zipper, it's just kind of open. So I feel like it's not as secure. I really like the design and I like how it's like very cute, functional. If you're just running out and have a few things to grab, then I think it's a perfect option. However, I feel like personally, I would still opt for the original everywhere belt bag just because of its size. I mean, there's a purpose for everything and I think the mini belt bag is super cute. However, I just haven't personally purchased one yet because I'm not sure what use I would get out of it versus like just the original belt bags. We'll definitely have to try it on like around my waist, see if that's better because maybe I'll opt for a mini belt bag instead. But I feel like even to fit a phone in there might be a little bit tight with the 0.3 liter difference. Let me know your thoughts down below on each of the belt bags and you know, let me know which one works best for you. Okay, now getting into the main part of the video is what is actually in my belt bag right now. This is of course the raspberry cream color and I feel like not too much has changed since the last what's in my bag belt bag version came out the first thing i have in here of course is the true identity card case i love this one it's from lululemon i think it fits perfectly inside the belt bag here and it can hold all of my cards so i just have like my id in the little back 
pocket here for easy access as well as my credit cards in the front and then I do have some of my other like membership cards or anything else important in here in the zipper pocket I would say it is a little bit tricky to try and get these things in and out fast because the zipper is slightly in the way of the card so you kind of have to angle it right to really get them in and out that being said though I think it's a nice little compact wallet here and I don't usually carry around membership cards because I have an app on my phone called Stow Card that I put all of my memberships into it's like a little app you can choose so many different types of like membership cards that you might have and put them all into the app and that's just how I carry them around which is a lifesaver because before I was carrying around way too many cards and you just don't need them all the time so I love that this one is really compact and then I'll use my phone for all my membership cards so that just sits in the big back pocket in here I also have some tic tacs of course this is not a regular occurrence for me but they were on sale at Walmart so I decided to pick some up so these are just some orange tic tacs of course and those just sit in the main compartment of the bag as well as my keys normally I have them on my never lost keychain however right now I'm just not really using the keychain and I'm just like throwing my keys in the bag because I'm normally carrying this anyways maybe in the summer I'll put them back on my keychain because it's a little bit easier to grab and go when I don't need everything in here the next thing I have in these two little pockets here is of course some Advil, Tylenol, Benadryl, etc. because you never know when you might need that and I've honestly just recycled this little Advil travel container for such a long time now but that's the first thing I keep in there along with some hand lotion. This is just the L'Occitane hand cream. It's just like a mini travel size that I got for Christmas and then I also have some lip balm. This is the Soft Lips Slim in vanilla. I also like this one because it does have SPF in it. So when you're out in the sun at any time of the year, it is good to have SPF because no one wants sunburned lips that is just not fun and not cute. The next thing I have in here are my AirPods and then I have this little case from Amazon on it just for extra protection, but just the regular AirPods in here. What else do I have? And that's basically all I keep in this little pocket on this side. In the other side here, I have my Lululemon hand sanitizer. I honestly really love this stuff. It smells great. It leaves your hands soft and moisturized. And I always carry this around even on shift with me in case there's no hand sanitizer nearby. Sometimes you just need your hands feeling clean, you know? So I do keep that in there. And the last thing I keep in this compartment is my Sage Peppermint Halo. This is just like a very mini size that we got from work for when Sage did like a collab with Lululemon. I honestly really, really love this stuff. It smells so good. Great for when you have headaches or just like sinuses. Honestly, this is like a lifesaver. And on this side here, you can also just dab it out as well, which is really nice. But that is just a small mini rollerball of the Peppermint Halo. And then in the back little zippered pocket here, I keep a mask. Now masks aren't really mandatory anymore where I live. However, I just don't know when I might need one at some point. So I do keep one back here for emergencies in case a scenario ever came up that I needed one and I also keep my little Apple dongle here for my headphones or like an aux cord or something I haven't really used this in a long time but I do carry it around just in case but that is all for everything that's in my belt bag like I said I feel like it hasn't really changed I will usually transfer all of these things to another belt bag if I am changing it out for an outfit but that is everything that I carry on a daily basis but that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And let me know down below if you have a belt bag and what you keep in it. And with that, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.